I mean, I think we're definitely, um, yeah, it's definitely a different time than them where we have, you know, more awareness to certain aspects of psychology and um, and that, yeah, and it wasn't, at that time, they weren't, there wasn't awareness about these things. Yeah, I would have wanted, I wanted to have a few of his songs, but um, but I feel like it really works and brings the focus more on her. And it really is a story about them behind the behind the, the closed doors and them as humans and not him as a public figure. And, yeah. as, and, and him as a performer is on the outside of the story and it's really focused on them and their personal life. Yeah, I mean, I, I tried to hint at she's starting to make new friends in Los Angeles, and there's um, Mike Stone, her karate teacher. That I, I, you know, I just sort of hint at that. Um, but when I asked her, you know, who were you really talking to when you were deciding this, and, and she, you know, and she said she didn't, she didn't really have that one person. I know, you know, she had support from her sister or whatever, but there wasn't a character in her life that she was really, uh, you know, she really seemed like she came from her inner strength and motivation. But she was starting to meet new friends, so we start to hint at that. Of, the Los Angeles 70s era of her story. You know, I was really telling the story from her book and what she expresses in her book and just translating that into film. So I guess um, I guess it wasn't in the book, but it, it, is, it is a big, you know, love story in her life. I mean, it's a complex one. And to me, it was so much about her growing up and, and finding her own identity. So that was what I was focused on. But it is this kind of fairy tale love story and then the reality of it and, and, and what she went through. But um, as far as the actual dialogue, it really came from the real situations. We shot the whole film in Toronto, but at the army bases at that time, they rebuilt America for the um, the U.S. troops based in Germany. So they had American supermarkets with American products, and they kind of rebuilt the, what looks like movie sets of America in different countries. Um, I mean, On the Rocks was about uh, fathers, but this one, he's older than her, but um, I, yeah, I wasn't thinking about that, so I guess it's just my subconscious. <laughs> No, I really wanted to, it's such a big life that you have to edit it into um, the story that you want to tell as a film. And I thought to focus on Priscilla's time in Graceland of how she got there and then her leaving. And it was it felt like Alice in Wonderland, you know, kind of experience that she went through. So, I, you know, I wanted to hint at what is to come in the next chapter, but it didn't really fit in this story. You know, that particular song was a, um, a cover of an old Civil War song, so it was public domain, and, and, and Tama and his bandmates found that it was public domain, so it was free to use it, and it's um, the same melody that was used for Love Me Tender, so it, it, it reminds you, it, it's a reminder of that, so when she's missing Elvis, that's playing as a, um, a memory of him. <laughs>